What is going on everybody? I go by the name Dark Moon 87 Welcome back to the channel. Now, I'm going to be playing some more Samurai Warriors 4. I've also recorded a bunch of other games and you guys will see them pretty soon. But other than that, I hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's and a wonderful year to start, period. Um, a couple of things that I wanted to address that I've noticed. Some of you comment some positive comments that I really appreciate. But then you go to my cousin's channel, which is Jers, by the way, for those of you that are new to my channel, and comment negativity. If you are going to do that, I am not, I repeat, I am not going to fuck with you. I, I dislike to the highest degree negativity. I, I, I can't stand it. If you don't enjoy somebody's stuff, what what are you doing even commenting on the first place? You know what I mean? Like I I, I get it though. To each his own, but at the same time I, I feel like I feel like it's somebody that, that we know and they're just making a bunch of accounts and being a dick, you know? But I'm just letting you know that right now. If that's if that's gonna happen on either one of our channels, we're just gonna block you. Like we don't we don't got time for that, man. We're just here to have fun. That's why we made the Muso game to begin with. It's a community that everybody just chills, games, talks about anime, and just has a good time. We're we're not here to discredit people, talk negative about them behind their back, and the dumb thing is, is that a lot of a lot of you, even those of you that are new to the channel, you need to do your research. I I've been I've been promoting and supporting Kobe Tecmo for a long time, Pro probably since I was let's see, since way before Kobe was Kobe and Tecmo was Tecmo, that was separated. Like it's been. Almost going on two decades that I've been supporting Koei Tecmo as well as many other companies. So it's it's just crazy how some people like they don't they don't think before speaking. They don't do the research or anything. Like I, I even have proof behind that. Like you can go on Twitter if you really want to dig deep or ask a bunch of people from Kobe Tecmo and they will tell you that like I've been and it, it, it isn't it isn't just me it's it's it, it was me Jers Tetsuo Wonder Periot uh, Swello the, there's there's a cup there's a couple of us man that that are that are in the Muso community that have been putting in work for a long time and we got into a point that when people say negative things we don't really respond to that shit some of us do but it's on some sarcastic shit because we got to a point which it, it sucks but i like i said i get it to a certain extent because it comes with the social media presence when you develop a lot of followers and even if you don't develop a lot of followers when when you get well known in the community you're gonna have and it's not just Kobe, Kobe Tecmo community. It's it's a lot of gaming communities in general. You're always gonna have a few people that that hate on you, you know. And it's kind of it kind of reminds me of school. You go to school and you're just trying to keep to yourself, and there's that one person that just wants to be a bully. That one person that they have they have no purpose of doing all this negative shit. They're just doing it to get attention and I and I feel like these people instead of asking questions like yo how, how did you record this how did you do this and that they just go straight to the negativity and it just sucks you know because what well, I'm not gonna lie like a few years back I would have chewed their asses out but as I get older I feel sorry for them but at the same time I, I laugh at, at at the negative comments now because I'm like wow like you got a you got a lot of time on your hands to be writing that man and and to think that out 
but at the same time it's not gonna stop our movement it's not gonna stop the muso gang that's that's not that's not gonna happen <laughs> and i'm i'm just letting you all know that like it's it is what it is the world don't stop for nobody we're gonna continue uploading videos and everything like that like I, i've seen a few comments and i'm not gonna lie like i wanted to edit the video to a point where i can show screenshots of those comments so that way you guys can see who to avoid that's really negative but there's just so many of them that i just said you know what fuck it I, i'm just gonna rock my game commentate and do my thing i'm i'm not gonna worry about that because if it was really that bad a lot of us would have been posting about it a lot of us would have been talking about it but like i said we got to a point where we don't give a fuck anymore because we got we got uh so used to it and a lot of big youtubers that that i used to watch they legit like um spoke to me and warned me about this shit before i even got into youtube and twitter and all of this they said yo um just letting you know whether you have a big following or you're well known on social media these are the pros and these are the cons and i'm just putting it out there for those of you that eventually you're trying to start a channel or, or just something great in general and you got a few rotten apples like trying to talk shit you know what i mean like fuck them. that's that's how i think about it and just keep keep doing your thing be consistent i know sometimes life does happen but keep doing your thing man like the the, the real people that enjoy your content they're gonna stick around even even uh people that never seen the content or played the game before they're gonna be like yo this looks interesting how much is this what is this this looks awesome and they're gonna keep it keep it moving they're not gonna they're not gonna talk negative about any anything that you're trying to do that's chill like i've i feel like that's um that's counterproductive and it never made any sense to me that somebody's gonna talk bad about something that's fun that that that's stupid that was always like to me one of the dumbest things ever like growing up like i i, I was like what the like why like <laughs> and i'll just start laughing so bad at it and it's not that i'm trying to be an asshole about it it's just that it just never made any sense to me i'm like uh, uh, imagine somebody's in a room and they're playing a guitar like and, and it sounds like the song that they're playing sounds so fucking amazing and then somebody comes out of nowhere you suck you know like <laughs> it's like it's like why why you know like and it's not that you're laughing at the person that that said it and, ma and made fun of it you're laughing at the fact that why did that just happen like why why are you hating but there's people out there that hate like that and it's just insane man i'm like you know what i hope one day in all honesty that you find your happy place that you find your purpose in life because if not like I said before, and many times, we're going to keep doing our thing whether you like it or not. It is what it is, man. If the shoe fits, you can lace the bitch and keep on jogging. It ain't stopping our fucking grind. But definitely going to be uploading a lot of videos, man. A lot of them. I hope you all are prepared for this shit. Because I've been I've been putting in a lot of work, new games, throwback games. I pre-ordered some games. I'm not, I'm not gonna say what. One of them's coming out next month, though. I'm gonna leave it at that. I let I let you guys do the guessing on that, but um, it's gonna it's gonna be fire, man. I, I look I look forward to all of this, bringing some throwbacks back and everything. I bought a damn Xbox 360 adapter so that way I can connect that and try to record.
some 360 games as well. And hopefully, if everything goes smooth, we can get this dual comp popping, man. Like, I, I've even been playing One Piece. Shout out to Swallow for that, but we're gonna get it in for real, for real. So it's gonna it's gonna be great. Really look forward to it. And another thing that I found that as well on Twitter is that a company bought the rights to Tenchu. If they make a new Tenchu game, that would that would be awesome. But I feel like, and I and I was talking to Jers about that. I feel like um, Ghost of Tsushima did so well that they might as well add Tenchu into that world. They might they might as well add it. Like if it was like a, a DLC, a big ass story, and you can play as uh, Ricky Maru and the whole gang. Period. I think it was uh, I think it was Ricky Maru Ayame. Tatsumaru, I forgot the the Mr. Clean looking motherfucker's name, but some real, real. It, it would be insane because you can hear the music from the first one, and and a bunch of a bunch like all the all the thoughts about that those two worlds together would be crazy. Because imagine Ricky Maru fighting Oni. Like just just think about that, man. Like, <laughs> He'll probably be like, yo, this is insane, but I'm up for the challenge. Because Tenchu, Tenchu, like, back then, that game was on another level, man. You jump off the roof, shish kebab somebody with a, with a samurai blade. That game was awesome. I played the first one, the second one, and some, uh, some Xbox 360 version. I, for, I forgot what the name of that Tenchu game was, but... That game wasn't bad. You could customize a character or whatever. But the first and second games to me were the best Tenchu games, period. Like, I thought they were fire. I wish they got remastered. I wish a lot of games got remastered, as a matter of fact. But I'm still waiting on Koei Tecmo to make a Ken's Rage on the PS4 or 5. If they can do that... I wouldn't I wouldn't have to plug in my 360 for that you know what I mean but because I was I was playing the 360 the other day and the game is fire but then I was like yo these graphics yo like at that time the graphics were fire but now like when you play all these other games you're like ah oh, man this needs some polish you know what I mean <laughs> I was like yo what is this yo? and I try to find a, a PC version that had uh, excellent graphics, but I ended up going back to the 360 because the 360 didn't give me no issues with that. So I, I started building up a lot of characters. Might upload them later. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. You might get a shit ton of videos today. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be on a random. All I know is, is that the content is, is going to be popping up like... Boom, boom, boom. Once once, once I keep going, it's, it's a wrap. Like, it's over. All of you going to be like, yo, is this game? Is that game? Is this game? Is that? Oh, my God. Oh, he brought this back. Oh, oh, oh. That's exactly how it's going to be. Watch. That's the, that's the reaction I'm looking forward to. I can't, I can't wait for that, though. It's going to be insane. But the cool thing is, is that I got a, I got an early birthday present for my wife, right? And she got me the Gundam 00 Riser collection, like the big ass box, which I was not expecting. And I'm not gonna lie, like I was, I was hyped, like super hyped. It came with cards, a poster, keychains, every single episode of Gundam Double O like it, I was just like wow I still haven't opened the DVDs I opened everything else but but the DVDs but I look I look forward to watching them later though yo this she is such a beast man such a beast I'm, kick, I'm kicking ass with every single character that I upload to my channel I definitely look forward to the new Koei Tecmo games coming out this year. 
I can't wait to try also Scarlet Nexus. That's one of the games that I that I actually pre-ordered last year for the PS5. I was also playing uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. I beat the game, but I still need to unlock everything else in the game. But overall, the story in Miles Morales was really, really amazing. Like it was a roller coaster. It was exactly how Spider-Man is. He's just swinging around. That's exactly how the game was. It was just a swing of emotions, like things you wouldn't expect to happen happen. Like I, I was, I was just like surprised, but. I can't wait to, to keep playing the game and everything like that. Like, I'm not going to spoil it for those of you that have never played the game. But if you have, then you know what I'm talking about. The, the ending was like, oh, shit. Like, this person's here? I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that because I didn't watch any YouTuber playing Miles Morales or anything like that because I didn't want any spoilers for myself I just wanted to play it on my own like you ever see a game that's fire and you see all these youtubers playing it you don't watch the videos you're like you know what I want to play this shit myself and find out what happens Miles Morales was one of those games so definitely gonna do that still got a lot to go but we get in there and this little girl out on this horse man hitting the shoe boom boom going right through these dudes here we go here we go through the right pass pull a little switcheroonie right here damn she just cleared that whole hallway uh, here we go here we go around we basically cleared the whole entire map damn I leveled up at the last minute oh look at that well this is Dark Monster Moon 87 I hope you all enjoyed the video let me know what you think of the characters in the comments below thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all on the next one later Anyway, now I'm going to